Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another rapture packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. Eh, uh, you've guessed it, I've been at Thaisland again, so we're having Ooh, one of these. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Chris the Butcher's Super Cool Review. Now, apparently, these are new! Greg's Steak Pies. Succulent diced beef with rich, rich gravy encased in a golden shortcut pastry and topped with puff pastry. <sighs> okay, a bit of pastry in there, isn't there? You know that pastry should be, uh, should be cold. It should be, uh, it should be fucking changed into fucking heartburn. I am going to do these for the kids to see, but Kira's not going to eat that much. She's one another half, so I'm going to have half and review it for you guys. Exclusive to Iceland. Now, I'm going to review these, but I haven't actually got or had a steak pie from Greg's before. Greg's is not one of the places I ever really go because it was always a bit expensive for what it was, especially when you're in town and you could just get a, a fucking pound bakery or something like that, you know what I mean? And the pound bakery right next door to Greg's in Oldham. And the pound, and it was fucking hammered. Mind you, Greg's was busy, but fucking pound bakery. They were fucking glad to stuck to fucking windows. Ah, Try to fucking get out of that fucking busy. So I used to send Louis kids in. I'll stand outside with a fucking fight. Watching all fucking retrobates go by. Fucking in Oldham town centre. Ah, you kidding, mate? What day is it? Yeah, fine, here we got a pound. We got 10p so I can get on the fucking bus. Fuck off. Oh. Right, anyway, what am I up to? Lost my fucking train of thought there. <laughs> it says bake me at home there. There you go, bake me at home. Obviously, it's frozen in the fucking box. Do fucking breathe on it. There you are, get stays done. Where are we up to here now? I'm up, fuck me. Where are we up to? Wheat milk, barley, barley milk! Definitely got wings in it with all the fucking pastry that's in it. On it, around it. Fucking good job, I've got a fucking 24 box of fucking rennies. So yeah, there's nothing much to fucking say. I've already read that. I don't know. Dice beef cooked in rich gravy with a short course pastry. Case and yeah, pastry lid, we've established that. Uh, oven bake is uh, fan assist, 180 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. I'm going to take it to 35 because you can't see it. Well, I'm point, I could be pointing to fucking anything there, could I? My oven's pre uh, Yeah, we, well, we don't need that. Right, anyway, let's get down here and have a fucking shove these at them. I hope you're wearing headphones. Oh dear. There we are, two pies. In a file lid. File tin, should I say. So I don't need to fucking put anything on there. It doesn't say anything about putting anything over the pastry. Sometimes you're like, oh, put a bit of egg wash on it or a bit of fucking milk, brush it on. Makes the crisp the pastry go all fucking brown and crispy. Alright, well, you don't say that, so I'm not doing it. So it's a. Uh, As you can see, it's glistening, it's still frozen. I've had these on fucking doorsteps since yesterday, it's that fucking cold in here and all them. Minus five last night. It's warming up now, it's starting to piss down. Typical fucking all them. Right, anyway, 35 minutes. I'll bring you back when they're ready. So it's been 35 minutes. And there they are. Oh, oh, oh. They're like a fucking telly tubby. Oh, what's he called? Mr. Blobby. Blobby, blobby, blobby. There we are anyway. <laughs> Digressing. I'm uh, breaking into uh, my childhood there. Uh, actually, Mr. Blobby wasn't when I was a kid. He was an adult, weren't he? Fucking hell, fire. I must have thought I was a kid. Right, anyway, our Greg's pies. I'm going to... Oh, God, it's hot. 
The ones that come out, oh, they're coming out the fucking bottom of the fucking tin, you bastard. Right, I'm going to let these cool for five minutes and uh, let's see if I can remove that one out of the tin without it fucking poking it all on the bottom and fucking flying out of the fucking bottom of the pie. Right, I did manage to uh, take it out of the tin proper. But that's why I put it on the tray. Uh, on a, a little saucer, I'm going to see if I can cut this in half. Because ideally, I want to get up here and slide it down the gizzard. But it's fucking hotter than the sun right now, still. Oh, God. It does smell really, really good. But there's no way on this earth I'm picking that up and sliding it down the gizzard just yet. Because in there, you know what it is. It's like molten fucking lava. So, yeah, I'll give it five minutes and we'll get up there and slide it down the gizzard. I've tried to pick it up. No, look. It's just falling apart on me. I've got a way up. I'm going to keep the innards in it. Ah! Right. I've got a piece of it. I'll keep it upside down for now. Still hotter than the sun. Now, do you know what? I can't remember how much them cost. I think they were 250, but uh, I could be wrong. Don't hold me to that, right? Now, me personally, I can't remember if I've ever, ever had a Greg's steak pie. Uh, but these are pretty damn tasty. The, flake, the pastry's flaky. The, the pie on the, the pastry around the edges there is nice and crisp. The bottom is soggy as fuck because it's broke. Mm. Shit. Red hot grave on me. Where are they? Mm. Yeah. That is a tasty pie. Still hotter than the fucking sun though. So brothers and sisters, the Greg's steak pies. I think they were two fifty. They might even have been three quid. If they are, I'm fucking heartbroken. I have got the receipt somewhere. Right? I, I really need to do my filing better. Uh, yeah. Tasty. Really, really, really good pie. Have you tried your bit yet, love? Yeah, I've had a gob full now. It's nice. There you go. Not often she's got a gob full and she says it's fucking nice. I'll tell you. <laughs> Not often she's got a gob full. Well, she, it never fucking stops. It's it's fucking right, full, yeah. is it? <laughs> right, anyway. I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you. They fucking passed out then. <laughs>